Okay guys, just a quick one. Uh, balancing of the blades on the FW450. Uh, I've just put them on and you can see it's pretty well spot on. I can't believe it. Uh, even dynamically balanced by finding out the uh, central pivot point on each blade. And there's only about a millimetre difference. So that's acceptable. Just one other thing. The proprietary battery, I'm only getting about five minutes out of it. And I've worked out why. It should get longer than that. I've worked out why. When the, uh, when the alarm goes off at uh, 3.7, uh, I've still got 74% left. Okay, and yet, if I use the non-proprietary battery, which is this one here, if I use my uh, 5200 milliamp hour Z battery, uh, it comes down to 30% when the uh, alarm comes on at 3.7. And so this battery here, my aftermarket battery, is working fine. It's doing what it should do. But I've noticed this one, the proprietary battery. Um, as soon as you fire it up, it drops from 4.2 per cell straight away back to 3.9 and then before you know it it's 3.7 and the beeper comes on so there's uh, the battery for a 440 uh, 4450 milliamp hour there's no other details on the battery I can't really can't really say um, but very poor um, you know, for it to, uh, it's almost like it's, it just hasn't got the capacity to cope. It just, the voltage drops straight off. And before you know it, the, uh, the little beeper alarm's going crazy. And if you ignore it, it lands not long after that. Um, so you do yourself a favour, get yourself the uh, bigger battery. It slots straight in. No problem. Dimensions are the same, it's just a bit longer. If you look at my other video, I went through the measurements. And also the uh, Velcro on the original battery here. It's Velcro all the way to the end. <laughs> you can't get the bloody thing out. So I've had to put a little bit of Velcro there. Uh, that way you can just lift it off and pull it out. So, yeah, all right, that's all I want to say. And uh, happy flying. For the FW450, it's a beast. Alrighty.